Mikel Arteta, Lifestyle and Net Worth Mikel Arteta Amatriane, born March 26, 1982, is a Spanish professional football manager and former player who is the manager of Premier League club Arsenal. Mikel Arteta's career, both as a player and manager, is a testament to his dedication and passion for football. From his early days at La Mesa to his managerial role at Arsenal, Arteta has consistently demonstrated his commitment to excellence. As he continues to build his legacy at Arsenal, his influence on the club and the broader footballing world remains significant. He is married to Argentine Spanish actress, television host, and model Lorena Bernal. The couple have three children, Gabriel, born 2009, Daniel, born 2012, and Oliver, born 2015. Mikel Arteta has a net worth of approximately $25 million. He is 5 feet 9 inches tall, which is equivalent to 1.75 meters tall. That being said, let's roll. Mikel Arteta Early Life and Career From a young age, Arteta displayed a passion for football. He began his football journey at Antiguoco, a local club, where he developed his skills alongside fellow midfielder Zabi Alonso. The two friends often played together, dreaming of one day joining their hometown club, Real Sociedad. At the age of 15, Arteta took a significant step in his career by moving to Barcelona's renowned youth academy, La Mesa, in July 1997. Despite the rigorous environment at La Mesa, Arteta managed to secure a professional contract, although his time was primarily spent with Barcelona B, due to the stiff competition for places in the first team. Mikel Arteta Professional Playing Career As a player, Arteta was known for his versatility, technical skill, and intelligence on the field. Initially an attacking midfielder, he adapted to a deeper role later in his career, excelling as a playmaker. His ability to read the game, coupled with his precise passing and vision, made him a standout midfielder. In search of regular first-team football, Arteta joined Paris Saint-Germain, PSG, on an 18-month loan in January 2001. At PSG, Arteta played alongside notable players like Ronaldinho and Nicolas Anelka. Although his first season saw limited success, he gradually became a key playmaker for the team. During his stint, he won the UEFA Intertoto Cup in 2001, a notable achievement early in his professional career. In March 2002, Arteta signed with Scottish club Rangers for a fee of £6 million. His tenure at Rangers was marked by immediate success, including a domestic treble in his first season, where he notably scored a crucial 93rd-minute penalty that secured the Scottish Premier League title. Arteta's performance in Scotland enhanced his reputation as a reliable and talented midfielder. Arteta's return to Spain in 2004 saw him join Real Sociedad with the hope of playing alongside Xabi Alonso. However, Alonso's departure to Liverpool, combined with Arteta's struggle to secure a regular starting position, led to an underwhelming spell at the club. Arteta's move to Everton in January 2005 marked a turning point in his career. Initially joining on loan, he soon made the transfer permanent. At Everton, Arteta flourished, winning the Everton Player of the Season award twice and becoming a pivotal figure in the team. His creativity and skill on the ball made him one of the best midfielders in the Premier League. Despite suffering a significant knee injury in 2009, Arteta remained a key player for Everton until his departure in 2011. Arteta joined Arsenal in August 2011 for a reported fee of £10 million. At Arsenal, he transitioned from an attacking midfielder to a deeper playmaking role, excelling in dictating the tempo of the game. He won two FA Cups and served as the club captain from 2014 until his retirement in 2016. His leadership and experience were invaluable to the team during a period of transition. Mikel Arteta International Career Despite his success at the club level, Arteta never earned a senior cap for Spain. Competing for a spot in the national team during a golden era for Spanish midfielders, including Xavi, Iniesta, and Xabi Alonso, limited his international opportunities. 
In 2010, there were discussions about Arteta potentially representing England under FIFA's residency rule, but this was eventually ruled out. Mikel Arteta Coaching and Managerial Career Upon retiring from playing, Arteta had several coaching opportunities. He chose to join Pep Guardiola's backroom staff at Manchester City in 2016. This role provided him with invaluable experience and insight into top-level management. Arteta was part of the coaching team that won two Premier League titles, an FA Cup, and two EFL Cups. Arteta's journey from a promising young talent in San Sebastián to a respected manager at Arsenal highlights his resilience, adaptability, and deep understanding of football. His experiences across different leagues and roles have equipped him with a unique perspective, enabling him to lead Arsenal with a blend of tactical innovation and strong leadership. In December 2019, Arteta was appointed as the head coach of Arsenal. He quickly implemented a clear vision and philosophy, emphasizing responsibility and passion. Despite a challenging start, Arteta led Arsenal to an FA Cup victory in his first season, becoming the first person to win the FA Cup as both captain and manager of the club. His role was later expanded to manager, reflecting his broader responsibilities at the club. Arteta focused on rebuilding Arsenal's squad, integrating young talents like Bukayo Saka and Emile Smith-Rowe, and making strategic signings. His emphasis on discipline and tactical flexibility began to yield positive results, including winning the FA Community Shield against Liverpool in August 2020. Arteta's tenure has not been without challenges. The 2020-21 season saw Arsenal struggle in the Premier League, finishing 8th and missing out on European competition for the first time in 25 years. However, Arteta's commitment to his vision and the development of a cohesive team culture remained steadfast. The 2021-22 season began poorly for Arsenal, with the team losing its first three matches. Despite mounting pressure, Arteta's management saw a remarkable turnaround, culminating in a Manager of the Month award for September 2021. Arsenal showed significant improvement, competing for a top-four finish, though ultimately ending in fifth place. Arsenal started the 2022-23 season strongly, topping the Premier League table after the first three matches for the first time since 2004-2005. Arteta's side demonstrated resilience and tactical acumen, maintaining a title challenge and securing a return to the UEFA Champions League. His leadership was crucial in guiding the team through a demanding season, earning him multiple Manager of the Month awards. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe to our channel for such amazing content.